Okay, this is your boy Larry Boy. I'm gonna be giving you a short tutorial today on bass guitar, live bass guitar compression with the XR18 on the input and not using any of these. I'm gonna be actually using the compressor only to compress the bass guitar. Um before like song checking and getting ready for a gig and trying to get a bass to sit really good in the mix so i'll be working with that today here is today i'm using garage band as my um source of recorded a bass guitar into garage band and i'm gonna let you hear it i'm gonna make sure the compressor's off i'm gonna set the bass to the compressor setting that came that come inside of Excel software. So let me play the bass so you can hear it. So you can see right away there's a three to two ratio. Um on the bass, the mix is all the way up 100%, 6 dB gain, it's a slow, it's a fast attack, um, kind of fast hold, it holds it for a while and it's a fast release. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to play it for a bit and turn it on and off, see if you hear any difference. So what I'm gonna do with the bass, set on the bass thing, I'm gonna first of all open my threshold all the way. I'm gonna start with a four to one ratio and I'll leave the gain set here and then I'll play it and I'll start adjusting the attack and release and I'll bring the threshold down to start catching some of the signal. So you can see I'm getting up to 3 dB of gain reduction already and I'm going a bit drastic so you can hear it. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
actually over compressing right now so i'm gonna back it off so hey i can see i'm getting a constant signal video out you can see what i'm actually doing i'm playing with the attack and release and the whole long with uh, my ratio and my threshold and then once it compresses a certain amount i bring some gain in to bring up the lower song and notes while trying to bring down the volume and the higher notes So check this video out. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, if you like what I did with it, um, stuff that I can do to improve it. But I'm not trying to use any of the effects from the bass, um, the bit on the plugins. I'm basically want to use the channel to compress to get the bass sounding better in the mix you would notice that i didn't use any eq whatsoever on the bass channel but in a real life situation i would eq my bass before i compress the signal just so that i have my eq levels what i want before i actually compress the bass i wouldn't compress and then eq um since eq changed the level and volume so my main focus in this tutorial is to show bass compression on the individual channel because there is the compressor there and it can be very versatile if used correctly these areas here's what you call starting points that you could use let's say on your kick on your snare on your bass and then modify them in a way that they can work for you in a live mix you don't have to use the preset as just a preset you could tweak these see i even didn't tweak any of the the gate there's a gate here i didn't tweak the gate to help get rid of the noise i'll use that i could do another one with that or the duck or anything i'm just using the compressor as it is to control the song so let me know what you think about this video like and subscribe this is your boy laddie boy peace out